In today's video I want to show you how to make this beautiful cable that is matching in the wristlets as well as the hat. We're going to do this over 12 stitches and make sure you download the free pattern for both the hat and the wristlets where I show you line by line how to do the cable in rows for the wristlet and then to sew it up the seam and then in the hat it's worked in the round where we decrease in pattern all the way up to the crown. In this pattern we're using Be So Brave yarn which is my American merino wool and if you haven't done cables in merino wool before I highly recommend it. Look at how the stitches pop. The texture is so gorgeous. Merino wool is perfect for working cables. We're going to be using a size 8 or five millimeter set of knitting needles and you're going to need a cable needle. I prefer to use an extra double pointed needle instead of a specifically purchased cable needle, but whatever works for you, either one will work. In fact, if you only have a pencil, it'll work. Uh, you just need to be able to move your stitches to an alternate needle in order to work cables. Um, this is Colorway Huckleberry Pie and in today's demonstration, I'm going to use Flamingo. Let's get started. Whether you're working the patterns in the round or in rows, you're going to be doing a garter stitch border for the bottom and it's going to have 15% less stitches than the actual cable pattern. And the reason being is that garter stitch is a much wider by nature stitch pattern than a cable pattern. Cables are much more dense, which is great for making something that'll keep you extra warm in the winter time, but it also needs to be adjusted for in the stitching. So on the first row past the garter stitch row, you're going to be increasing to create the 12 stitch repeat we need for the cable pattern. So on this one we're going to do, um, we're going to knit five and then pick up in the stitch below to create an increase. So we'll knit five and then pick up a stitch in the row below for our sixth stitch. Make sure you download the free patterns on my website and they will tell you exactly how many stitches and how often to do those increases to increase by 15% and reach your stitch pattern repeat of 12 stitches per cable. Okay, for this particular swatch, we're doing a repeat of two cables or two sets of 12 and one salvage stitch on each edge. Now, one, now that we're doing this in the rows, to create the stockinette, we're going to knit the first stitch on the wrong side rows and purl across the rest of the row to the last stitch and then knit that last stitch. And so the first four rows of the pattern past the garter stitch edge will be knit across and then the, re, um, the wrong side row will be knit one, purl across to the last stitch, knit one, and then the next two rows will be knit across and the next wrong side row will be knit one, purl across to the last stitch and knit one. Okay, we'll turn our work. Okay, so now what I want you to do is one on our right side row here, we're going to knit one more row, and then on our next wrong side row, we're going to knit one, purl across to the last stitch, knit one. After that, I'll show you how to do the cable row. Okay, so we've got our first four rows of stockinette done, and our next row is a cable row. So we're going to knit the first stitch. And then we're going to do a cable six back. And what that means is you're going to slip the next three stitches to the back side of your work. Whoops, I dropped my first stitch. It's okay. We're going to pick it back up. And then you're going to knit the next three stitches from your left hand needle. And then you're going to knit the three stitches from your cable needle or wherever you're holding your stitches. I'm holding them on an extra DPN. It doesn't matter though, wherever you're holding them is fine. So now we're going to do a cable six front and that's going to be slipping the next three stitches to the front of the work, then knitting the next three stitches 
from your left hand needle and knitting the three stitches from the cable needle or wh wherever you're holding them. I think I'm going to switch it to a different color so you can see it a little bit better. Because it's the same color as my needle, it might be a little confusing. So we're going so what we've done is a cable six back, cable six front, and that's it. That's the repeat for the entire row. So the next set will be cable six back, which means slip the next three stitches to the back of the work, knit the next three stitches from your left hand needle, then knit those three missed stitches from the cable or whatever you're holding them on. And then we'll go back and do a cable six front. So you're going to slip the next three stitches to the front of the work, knit the next three stitches from your left hand needle, knit the three stitches from the cable needle, and knit the next stitch. Okay, the first cable never looks like it's supposed to look, so you always have to remember that when you're starting out in cabling, it doesn't look right at first. You're going to have to trust the process. It will eventually look beautiful like these and like this. So let's do one more repeat so we can see how pretty it's going to look. So now what you want to do is do your wrong side row, which is the wrong side row always, and that is to knit one, purl across to the last stitch, and knit one. Okay, this is an eight row repeat, and what that means is the first four rows were knit on the right side, purl on the wrong side, the fifth row was our cabling row, the sixth row was purl on the wrong side, and then seven and eight are knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side. So what I want you to do now is to continue on in that pattern until we get to the next cabling row, and I'm going to show you how to do the cabling row one more time so you can see how the pattern starts to take form after the second repeat. Just by putting some space between the cables with some extra rows of stockinette, you can already see that it's starting to look more beautiful and look more appropriate like cables. But now wait till you see what happens when we do our second repeat. So just to recap, we've done our six rows of stockinette in between each two rows of cabling because this is an eight row repeat. So we're going to start by knitting the first stitch. This is our cable row. We're going to slip the next three stitches onto our cable needle or whatever type of stick you choose to use for a cable needle and then knit the next three stitches from the left hand needle. Then we're going to knit the three stitches that we skipped and move to the back of the work and that is called a cable six back. We're now going to do a cable six front which means we slip the next three stitches to the front of the work, knit the next three stitches from our left hand needle, and knit the three skipped stitches. Okay, and we're going to repeat that across the row. We only have a second repeat on this row, so I'm just going to do it nice and slow. And you'll see we're starting to really come together. It's really starting to look like a cable. I'll do one more wrong side row, which is knit the first stitch, purl across to the last stitch, and then knit that last stitch. And after that row, you'll even see better. Okay, and so there's two repeats of our beautiful chevron cable that's a 12 stitch repeat. 
and here's what it looks like in the wristlet so you can see side by side how beautiful it looks once it's repeated so many times and here it is in the hat this is something that you could do in the round or in rows you're going to do an eight row repeat of stockinette for six rows and then one row of cable and one row of stockinette for wrong side row. Please make sure to download the free patterns for the hat and the wristlets on my website. And from there, you can also order Be So Brave Yarn, which is my American Merino wool that is amazing for cables.